Remember the movie Armageddon with Bruce Willis? Ah, great movie. It's about an asteroid that was on path to destroy the Earth. And Bruce Willis took a team of guys and they took a spaceship, landed on the asteroid, detonated a nuclear bomb, exploding it in half, and each, each half went right by the Earth, thus saving the planet. Ah, entertaining story, but not going to happen in real life. Yet, we have an environmentalist today that would have you believe that not only are we the cause of global warming, that it's going to end up in terrible uh, catastrophe for our planet, but they can save the Earth. Same story, but it's not going to happen. Actually, let me give you a couple of ways to really save the Earth from global warming. Number one, and I'm not a scientist, but I'm an idea guy, so here's my idea, so environmentalists, get your scientists together, work this out. I think we should just take the Earth, move it back, say, two, three hundred miles from the sun, and then as it orbits at that further distance, that will slowly bring down the global temperatures to where they should be. <laughs> I hope you're laughing right now, because that's stupid. Because you and I both know these guys don't have this type of knowledge or power. Not going to happen. So their only choice, or what they're trying to say, Oh, we need laws passed, we need taxes taken, we need things done. So basically, you and I can be under their control. They can tell us what to do, what to consume, and thus, we'll save the earth. Let me tell you something. I will fight against that, speak against that, preach against that, vote against that till the very day that I die. Now keep in mind, President Obama, if he's elected again, I promise you he's going to be throwing that cap and trade legislation at us. I hope that you work with me and do everything we can to stop that. It's horrible. You know what? If global warming is a real problem, here's the genuine, real solutions. Number one, you've got to have less people on the planet. And number two, the people left have got to consume less. That's it. You can have all the crazy light bulbs you want, but that's what it's going to take if you really want to say, man, is the answer. Well, I'm not going to do that. I'll fight till the end not to go that route. I will say this, though. I have some people in mind. If you want to do the lesser population thing, people to go first. Well, I want to stop with just a personal note. Several years ago, my dad died with cancer. And I remember going to the doctor's office when we were going to find out just how bad it was. And the doctor said to us that he had three to six months to live, but we could do chemotherapy, radiation, uh, do the surgery, all that kind of stuff. And... Maybe it would add two to three years to his life. And my dad said, well, what kind of life would that be if I go for the extension? And the doctor said, you'll be sick every day. And I honor my dad to this day because he chose the shorter of the choices. And you know what? We had the best time you could imagine for the remainder of his life. And he died three months to the day of that doctor's appointment. Wouldn't have changed a thing. With global warming, I don't know how serious it is, but I'm telling you this right now. I am not giving up my life. I'm not giving up my happiness, my money. I'm not going to surrender my, my life over to a bunch of politicians to control with the thought that somehow that's going to save the planet or even extend it for a few years. Not going to do it. I choose my spray on a person, my truck, my air conditioning, and I will forever.